without further ado, let's check out Chiyoi's character demo. Her personality is ahead of her time. She's like anti mainstream. I what? love the Inazuma touch. Uh, her designs are too flamboyant. I think they look great. No, it's more than that. I don't chase trends, I follow my intuition. Oh. And my aesthetics follow their own rules. Yeah. Here we go with Yuri with the dual wheel um, style. Music is alright. Yeah, he's fine. The music's kind of alright, but. I don't feel any effort put into this demo to be real. Um, Chiori? That was a little blunt. What if it upsets oh. your customers? Hirara. Stay true to my dreams. Channel my defiance into my art. Don't let anyone tell me what I can or can't do. <laughs> well, maybe they're the ones who need to change. Oh, the Fontinians. Yeah, a lot of this for me. You got it. Oh, now we are making a surprise appearance. Now, last but not least, smile for the camera. My work brings in the customers, not my smile. But you've got such a pretty smile. This? Hmm. Okay, I'll be real. That was probably one of the weakest character demo I have ever watched. I just don't feel any effort put into this character demo to be very honest. Do it. And don't get me wrong, Chiyomi is, is a fine uh, character, but I'm getting the feeling that the Genshin team is gonna prefer the Oimiya treatment. That is how I'm seeing it. So it's kind of unfortunate that Chiyomi is given the, uh, the Oimiya treatment, and not to top it off that the next character that will be coming out in version 4.6 is one of the Fatui Harbingers, which is Al Alan Chino, and after this um, moment, people <coughs> have been talking about her. So, it's kind of unfortunate that Chiyoi is being given the Yoimiya treatment. Not to mention, right, her gameplay is literally coaching in Zero Element. That's pretty much it. And her scaling is based on different tutorial. So, it's kind of like, uh, Might as well make her a non-limit character to be real. Don't get me wrong. Really is a is a very cool sassy character. But the way but judging from this character demo alone, he is given the Oemia treatment. That's how I see it. Because I don't feel any extra effort put into this character demo at all. It's very generic. It's a very generic trailer, nothing bombastic, nothing mind-blowing. Just a very generic trailer. And, and that's how I see it. Judging by this character demo alone, yep, Chiyori is given the Yoemiya trip. So yeah, it's kind of unfortunate that such a cool, sassy looking character is given the Yoemiya treatment because other characters have higher priorities. Unlike Honkai where, where each Honkai 5 star character has have their unique traits and stand and 
stands out on their own. And she on the other hand, right, all of the five-star characters is either a top tier or low tier. That's how I see it. And that I think that's pretty much why I can comment on this kind of the mode. Like, but still, I will definitely check out, uh, do a test run on Kiroi tomorrow once 4.5 drops. And hopefully, my mind might change. But we'll see how things goes, right? Let's check out the Japanese version of Kiyoi's character demo. Designer no She's definitely main DPS and she's definitely waifu material but unfortunately the character demo itself right feels generic it's very generic and kind of a lackluster like I said don't get me wrong she really is a fine looking character and she's cool not to mention she's the only dual wheel um, character but the way the Genshin team is treating her like as if she's another she's been given the Yoimiya treatment unfortunately and not to mention he is voiced by one of my favorite Japanese voice actors of all time Getatsu Ayana-san who shares the same voice as Bifa from Sword Art Online and Nino from Kotobu no Hana Yome Yeah. I'll be real. I really wish I could pull for her, but if it wasn't for the fact that Nubile is in the second half of the character banner, I would pull for her without hesitation. But unfortunately, as of this very moment, I'm skipping her. Because of the fact that Mimile is in the second half, I definitely need him in my roster. So yeah, it's, it's very unfortunate. And not to top it off, right? I'm going F2P Genshin as of this very moment. Because ever since the, the Game Awards, I feel like Genshin and Genshin doesn't deserve my money. I don't I don't feel like throwing money on Genshin to be real. Honka in the other hand, right? Okay, at least there's something worth for me to throw money on. But Genshin on the other hand... Nah. I will still play the game. But if you're telling me to throw money into the game... Nah. Nah, I ain't gonna do that. Hopefully, they, sometime later in the future, they, if they do something that is gonna... It is very mind-blowing. Then I might consider throwing money into the game. As of this very moment. So, to wrap up this conversation, Kyoi is a cool, sassy looking character. And she's definitely waifu with TV without a shadow of a doubt. But from the way how, how things go, Genshin is definitely giving her the and that's a very unfortunate situation story. And that's all that's what we pretty much what I can comment on uh, Yuri and her character demo.